When there are world events that aren't shared on Facebook by your racist aunt, well, that's news to me. Good evening, America. I'm Chip Chapley. We begin tonight with entertainment news. Nostalgia-based reality TV program I Love the Teens has been taken off the air amidst controversy over the show's title. The show's producers and networks say they understand their mistake and will rework the show under the new name. Grown men can't get enough of those sweet, sweet teens. If successful, they plan to follow it up with the spin-offs Teen Meat, a tribute to the best sausages cooked in the current decade, and Sweaty Underage Teen Sleepover, a documentary about newly formed summer camps for at-risk youth in Arizona and Nevada. Got some for you to look at, Murph. I found this kid trespassing around a, uh, Mabel Oaks. I thought he was just a homeless junkie, but here's the thing. He claims he's that kid, Thomas Pinkerton, that went missing 12 years ago. Ridiculous, right? Hmm. So maybe you can use one of your wacky science things to figure this one out for us, huh? Yes, yes, I know just the thing. I can simply use this reverse aging application to age this man backwards. Thomas Pinkerton, was it? Yeah. Oh, there we are. Now by simply scrolling down... Is this the missing kid? It... Uh, it is! Uh, wow! Get him cleaned up! Astounding technology! It ages anyone backwards? Yes, sir! State of the art! <laughs> hey, hey, hey! Put the chief into it! <laughs> All right! <laughs> <laughs> That's incredible! Do you? Look at his stud! <laughs> I know, I know. Okay, your turn. Let me put you in. <laughs> <laughs> nah, don't put me in. <laughs> Come on, it's only fair. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, don't. with the cup. Eh, uh, I figured I'd start bringing my own cup so I didn't use the disposable ones. Makes you look like a dork, though. Whatever, someone's gotta save the planet. Hey, look at me! I'm saving the world with my rad cup! Hey, come on, man. Every little bit helps. Seriously? What's one cup going to do? What's happening, scientists? It's the Earth, Mr. President. She's in maximum pollution. All the centuries of litter, waste, and deforestation. It's just too much. She's gonna blow! My God, we're doomed! This is it! Wait! It's stabilizing! Something's happening in Oregon! Get me the NSA! Putting you through now. Medium coffee coming right up. Uh, I brought my own cup, actually. So, how's your coffee, savior of humanity? Huh? You boy, for your act of bravery today, we are truly in your debt. You have saved all of humanity. Let it forever be known that in our darkest time, our only light came from you. For your literally incredible act of valor, I bestow upon you this certificate of bravery. Ah. Crime news, man robs five at Knife Point. Police continue to urge citizens not to visit Knife Point. America, it's one of the good countries, but is it ready to settle down? A Florida man thinks so. Spunky Field reporter Abby Babel has more in tonight's top, top story. 
I'm here with Clayton Calhoun, the man who, in a private ceremony yesterday, married America. Mr. Calhoun, how did these unusual nuptials come about? Well, I was getting drunk underneath my pickup with Zeke and Huel and Roger and Little Rog and Big Zeke and shooting off at the mouth about how much I love America. And Little Rog said, damn it, Clayton, if you love America so much, why don't you just marry it? So I said, fuck you, Little Rog, get out from under my pickup, you dilapidated ass crack. But the next day, I pawned off my first edition of Wuthering Heights and bought America a ring. And have you always been a proponent of same-sex marriage? Uh, pardon? Same-sex marriage. America is a man. America the Beautiful is a classy as fuck lady, Miss Babble. Thank you very much. America is overweight, short-tempered, loves guns, and takes all its friends for granted. America's a dude, bro. What about Lady Liberty? What about Uncle Sam? But, but, but... You live in Florida, America's dingus. But I, I, I never, I mean... Mr. Calhoun said the happy couple planned to spend their honeymoon in San Diego, which we all know is America's butthole. This is Abby Babble from Jacksonville, Florida, signing off. Oh boy, it's opposite day! Extra, extra, opposite day! Opposite day! Yeah, opposite day. Uh, opposite day! 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 And second thought, maybe I won't go out today. Whoosh! Zoom! Whoosh. Hey there, kiddo! Playing spaceman again? Yeah! I'm gonna be an astronaut when I grow up! Well then, there are a few things that every spaceman should know first. Okay! Whee! Off to space we go! Past the upper stratosphere! Wow. And now we're passing the exosphere. Ooh! Up, up, and away we go as your body is deprived of oxygen. Uh, what? You won't need oxygen for where you're going anyway, because breathing on the moon would send millions of tiny rock fragments shredding through your lungs like itty bitty razor blades. But, but what if I wore a spacesuit? That chance? Those are expensive, and you're a child with no marketable skills or previous work experience. But, but... Besides, the suit will only prolong your suffering for six to eight hours tops. Yes, kiddo, everywhere in space is deadly and not worth pursuing. What about Mars? You'd boil alive from solar radiation. Well, how about Venus? I hear it has clouds, like on Earth. Clouds of acid rain to melt you alive. But I heard girls went to Jupiter to get more stupider. They go there to be crushed by the gravity of 10,000 Earths. Yes, Jupiter is covered in danger, and so is everything else in any direction. Saturn! Not safe. You're a <laughs> Not safe. Earth! Not safe. Studies show that 100% of deaths happen right here on Earth. That's right. Space is nothing more than a big black expanse of excruciating pain and unimaginable horror. From Mercury all the way to Pluto. We're uh, not sure what's beyond that, though. It might be a landscape of frozen rock, aliens, or even God. But whatever it is, it probably eats children. Golly! I had no idea! That's right, kiddo. So, next time you feel like exploring space... It... So, what do you want to be when you grow up now, son? Uh... a fireman? Film... hmm, let's see... Filmographer, finance, fireman. It's time for Opinions. Everybody has them. 
Tonight we're joined by two neighbors who have opposing viewpoints about a hot button issue. Timothy Reardon, welcome. Thanks, Chip. You know, the Constitution grants me the right to have and express whatever opinion I want, no matter who it offends. That it does. I remember reading that somewhere. But my neighbor Todd doesn't think I should be able to express myself and my opinions. We're joined now by Todd Stansberry. Todd, why can't you accept Timothy's opinions? Because his opinion is that he should murder me. Interesting. Timothy, you want to murder Todd? Yes, Chip, that's right. I want to kill him with a knife. Or maybe a gun. And this opinion offends you, Todd. Uh, yes. I live every day in fear for my life. Why can't you just live and let live? That's the point. He doesn't want to let me live. He wants to kill me. With a knife. See? Or a gun. Now, the argument extends beyond your opinions, Timothy, and also into how you express yourself through clothing, correct? That's right. He says I wear symbols and imagery that offend him. Todd, is it possible that you're taking these symbols and imagery out of context? His shirt has a picture of me with a knife through my head and the words kill all Todd Stansbury's. Hey, 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 but he wears a shirt I don't like, too. He has it on now. Is this true, Todd? Yes. It says if I end up stabbed or shot, it was definitely Timothy Reardon that murdered me. Todd, can you really call someone a murderer without being a murderer yourself? Yes! Thank you, gentlemen. You have given us a lot to think about. Honey, there's a reason I brought you out here today. I, I have a confession to make. I'm an alcoholic. <laughs> Wow, I wonder how many stars are up there. Must be a whole bunch. Yeah, Jimmy, there's a whole bunch. <sighs> You're a real special gal, Susie. I... Hey, look, a shooting star! Make a wish! Okay. You wanna hear my wish? You wanna hear my wish? Uh, sure. I wish we could be together forever. Cause you're my number one Susie. Wait, who's driving the car? Oh man, oh man, what do we do, Susie? Hey, uh, Jimmy? Uh, maybe I can reach my hand through the window and uh, grab the steering wheel? Jimmy! What, what? I think I want us to just be friends. I just feel like we're moving too fast. Wait, what? What, are you breaking up with me? I just don't think we're very compatible. Well, I, I could be compatible. Just tell me what I'm doing wrong. Well, you're clingy, you're annoying, you talk too much, and you're kind of a wimp. Uh, can we get back to the whole we're gonna die thing real quick? And you always change the subject, too. But face it, Jimmy, we're just not good for each other. What? Is, is there another guy? What? No! Is, is it him? Sup? What, Chad? Ew, no way! Aww. I just don't know how to make this more clear, Jimmy. I don't want to date you anymore. I just wish that I would have saw the signs coming. Uh, uh, uh. Come on, just give me another oh, chance. No, Jimmy! I, lo I love you. <laughs> I just don't think I'm <coughs> ready for a relationship. Wow. Harsh. The Internet. It's full of videos of emotional and tearful reunions between brave soldiers and their faithful dogs. This viral clip takes that same idea, but does it more and better.
Everybody, last call. Uh, <laughs> last call already? Damn it! Uh, I just got started drinking. But I, I need to sober up before I'm doing my drive home. Perhaps I can be of service. Hey, why don't you let me help you gents even out before you hit the road? Hey, what are you? There you go, friend. And one for you. Oh, yeah, are you Jesus? There you go. Wow, Doc. I feel great. Yeah, me too, Doc. I can probably drive now. You're a real hero. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, Doc. Why do you do it? Oh, I just want everyone to have a... Healthy buzz. Okay, time for it to drive home. Yay! <laughs> for bed. Are you watching Shudder again? I told you, too much of that stuff will give you nightmares. That's fine, Dad. I just don't want you getting too worked up before bed. I... Uh, I won't. Now, I, don't get me I, wrong. Uh, I watched my share of scary movies when I was your age. Uh, uh, anyway, gotta wrap it up, Billy. It's probably it's time for bed. Billy, turn off that Shudder and get moving, young man. You have school tomorrow. Uh, oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> sure, Mom. Okay. Whew. We need a medic here. Stat! Oh, hold on, sir. No, no, no. Don't move. You were in a terrible car accident. You're at the hospital. Need some help over here. Get him to the ER. Down the hall. Pass radiology. Move it! All right, coming through. IV is open. How's his pulse? Blood pressure, 85 over 40. Pulse is 120 and steady. Possible hypotension from blood loss. Where is the doctor? I'm here. Let's save this man's life. That was a close one. Looks like you'll live to crash another day. Oh, thank you, doctor. All better. Oh boy, you saved my life. Good job, I'm fixed. Bye! Bye! Thanks, bye, bye now. Bye. Thanks, bye bye guys. Bye. Thanks, bye. bye, see ya, gosh. Honey, let, let's hurry home. Oh. Uh, spare some change. <laughs> Give me some sugar, baby. <sighs> home safe. Science, history, mustaches. Due to recent litigation, I've been banned from the news. That's why I'm going to the internet. The internet.
I'll be answering your comments and questions here on I Think I've Got This with me, Chip Chapley. Hello, the internet. I'm Chip Chapley, and I think I've got this. Tonight, we begin with you, your questions, and me doing a pretty good job of answering them. Our first question is in the category of science, subcategory fish. El Rayani asks, if we can't see the air, does that mean fish can't see the water? To answer this question, I've brought in world-renowned marine biologist, Dr. Zlatyvov Chernobylstan. Oh, thank you, Chip. You see, the fish... Doctor, I hate to interrupt, but uh, I think I've got this. You see, a fish's eyes are vestigial, which means they don't actually work. They're just for show and to keep people from freaking out when they talk to a fish. Um, no, most fish can see quite... It's like a dog's tail or those nubbins on a giraffe's head. They don't serve any purpose, but if they weren't there, you'd be like, Ew, sick, gross! Get that giraffe out of my face! Uh, s so Brian, your your mom tells me you like nature. I can teach you a thing or two about the outdoors. <sighs> if you say so, Robert. Uh, you know you can just call me... Uh, never mind. So we're killing fish for fun. <sighs> no thanks. Well, we don't have to kill them. We'll just catch them and throw them back in. Cool, so we're just poking holes in them for fun. Okay, okay, forget the fishing. <gasps> ah, hey, you know how to do this? Hup. Uh, oh, okay, N no, skipping stones is dumb. Uh, 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 you ever learn how to tie a knot? Uh, uh, not that! Uh, 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 chopping wood! Uh, climbing trees! Uh, uh, starting a fire! Uh. Well, son, are you ready to open your present? Whoa. What? It's your very own pony! Dad, you idiot, I wanted an Xbox! Ugh. Uh, 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 not so fast, son. This isn't just a pony, for within this pony is the antidote. An antidote, you ask? Why, the antidote for the poison that was in your birthday cake! <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, that's right, son. You ate a poison. Now you get to choose either to kill the pony to retrieve the antidote, or spare the pony and let yourself die. The clock is ticking, birthday boy. <laughs> kill the pony. <laughs> you get him, you get him, son. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday, son! All right, kiddo, it's bedtime. But, Mom! Can't I just stay up another hour? You're not staying up past your bedtime, mister. Now off to bed. Now. <laughs> Stupid... Tell you, go to fuck you, Mom! I'll do whatever I want! <laughs> gotcha, bitch. On to our next question. Elytra Plays asks, Why do dads leave their sons or daughters when they are little? Because this happened to me. Well, Elytra Plays, your dad left for two very simple reasons. One, because as your name seems to imply, you think yelling racial slurs while playing video games on YouTube is a viable career option. And two, because you never bothered to learn the difference between there, there, and there, dum-dum. It's your fault, and you're the reason daddy left. So... 
Did you bring protection? Sure did. You know, son, if you hold that up to your ear, you can hear the ocean. No! Step right up. Test your strength. Win a prize. Oh, they got PD Panda. You're a big, strong man. Why don't you win me the biggest panda here? Anything for you, doll. Doc, give me the good news. How's my bundle of joy doing? Hmm. No. No, that, that's not right at all. Oh no, is there something wrong? Uh, I'm sorry to tell you this, Miss McCloud, but I think you're feeling what is called a phantom pregnancy. The symptoms you're experiencing are psychosomatic. You simply aren't pregnant. What? No, that can't be. I know that I'm pregnant. I can feel it. Ma'am, I understand that this is very difficult news to hear, but I can assure you that you're not pregnant. I'm so sorry. Uh, I can't admit. I'm going into labor. Oh, whoa, 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 wait, wait, wait. Labor. What? How can that? Oh, oh, okay. Um, um, take deep breaths, Miss McCloud. Uh, deep breaths. In and out. In and out. Okay, uh, you're doing good. Uh, Keep breathing. Fucking hurt. You better watch your mouth, Miss McCloud. Or your baby's gonna come out swearing like a sailor. Shut the fuck up and help. <clears throat> yes, of course. Just keep pushing and focus on the breathing. Perfect. Just like that. I think I can see it. Oh, shit. I cannot believe it. It's a boy. Well, Mr. McCloud, it seems I spoke too soon. You are now the proud mother of a bouncing baby. Miss McCloud? And clear. So, I was thinking, we get along real well. Maybe I could take you out some. You are not seriously asking me out in the middle of a sting operation. Well, I, I just think we... You're supposed to be a hooker, Williams. Please focus. Looks like the senator is pulling up now. Remember, get him to agree to sex and then make the arrest. Hey, uh, look, I don't normally do this kind of thing, but, uh... Look, let's just get a nice dinner somewhere. Just you and me. I did dinner? I, uh, I was actually hoping for something more. Williams, what the fuck are you doing? I was hoping for something, you know, uh, a little bit of action, you know what I mean? Well, if you're more comfortable, I can bring my buddy Jeffrey, and you can invite your sister so it's not just us. Wait, what? Williams, I swear to God. I was actually just, you know, hoping to get a quick... Coffee? How about coffee? God damn it, Williams, you're gonna blow it! I am not gonna blow it. Oh, uh, okay. It's just that I brought all this money and... Williams, he's about to make the offer! Blow it! The only thing I want to blow is kisses to you. Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> Wait! You want to do what to me? Williams? Oh, you know, just want to give you a little kiss on the cheek. Is, is there anything else you can do? I've got like a hundred bucks and... Williams, quick! What else do you want to do to me? After you kiss me. I want to walk you through the park by the lake. And go feed the ducks. And then what? I'm yours. What do you want to do with me? Mmm, and after that, maybe a second date. We could paint pottery together. Ah. Uh... And then maybe one day I'll ask you to marry me. And then you'd say yes, and we'd we'd have a big wedding. 
And then that night, I take my wedding dress off for you, and we, we... And then we get a good night's sleep for our honeymoon in the Bahamas! Fucking Christ, I'll do this myself! Hey you, let's fuck. Five dollars. Sorry, no thanks. I'm getting married! Mr. Chapley, if you eat yourself, will you be twice as big or just disappear? I think I've got this. Will you get twice as big or just disappear? What, what would happen? You'd take a take a bite and then where that where's that bite go? It go well then what happened? Oh God, what happens? Where what what, what, what happens after you eat half of you? And the, what, 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 what what happens? What do you eat more than half it? Can you eat your own mouth? Oh, God! Oh, fuck! Oh, oh, what happened? Oh, Jesus! Oh, God! No! No! What would happen? Oh! Oh, what would happen? Ah, I don't know! I don't got this! Ah, I don't got this! If you enjoyed this, don't forget to visit Explosum.net for more.